What's up guys, I'm Random Dank Frank, and welcome back to episode 101 of Rim Tour Project, the series where we show off the best gaming setups. Now last week, episode 100, it was so hot. Episode 100 was so hot. YouTube flagged it as inappropriate. Seriously though, it was flagged as inappropriate. And that's because each week we got the best of the best gaming setups for you guys. This week, episode 101, our special guest is going to be Frosted Tech showing off his gaming setup. So we have a great episode planned. Let's start off 101. First up is a beautiful desk setup from Dr. D-Flow. Definitely check out his channel because he has a whole setup tour on this. And check out this beautiful custom homemade desk. It has these steel I-beams for the legs and a marble desktop which weighs over 600 pounds. But damn, it looks good. Really liking the color theme as well. White and red looks good together. Props for that color combo. But let's check out some of the other gear he's rocking and that single monitor is the Acer Predator X34. Going the solo monitor route is the right choice here. And I love the RGB light strip behind it. Again, glowing red, give it some accent lighting. Everything's so clean and organized as well. Now as for his peripherals, he has the Anpro wireless RGB keyboard in white with a Logitech G703 mouse and a nice custom made extended mouse pad. That's a, it's a pretty good idea. Might have to look into that. And as for audio, one of my favorite choices here are the V-Moda headphones. Those are the V-Moda Crossfade 2 wireless in white and silver going along with the Audio Engine D1 headphone amp and DAC. Plus the Audio Engine A5 plus speaker which you probably saw on his desktop. Then for a look underneath his desktop, very clean and organized, which is always good to see. Got his PC and the little subwoofer there. That's the Audio Engine S8. Let's dive into that PC. This is the Corso Crystal Series 570X RGB case, looking very, very nice. Inside is an Intel 5820K CPU, 64 gigabytes of some Corsair Vengeance LED RAM in red here to go along with this color theme, and a GTX Titan X graphics card. That's all we have for specs on this, but damn does it look pretty. Wish it could be on display more. So I am a huge fan from this setup from Dr. D-Flow. Again, definitely check out his YouTube channel. But I don't think we've ever had a custom homemade marble uh, desktop like this. And like I said earlier, a really big fan of the white and red color theme. Everything is very nice and organized. Just top of the line stuff here. Super hot fire. Now Simon's hitting us here with the stacked monitor orientation. And you guys know I like these. But all together for a desk setup, there's just a lot more to that than I like. Got that nice natural wooden desk, little plant there by the side. What up? And with the RGB light strip behind his desk, you can switch up some of the different colors, have some more natural light coming in from that window. Really liking this. Now checking out his gear, his primary display on the bottom is an LG 34 inch ultra wide monitor. And on top of that secondary display is going to be a Dell 24 inch display. Now into his peripherals, his keyboard there is the GH60 with some Gateron brown switches and some granite keycaps and the Logitech G900 wireless mouse. And they're both on a huge extended mouse pad for his desk. As for audio, his primary cans are the Sennheiser HD 650s and a nice wooden headphone stand. They're powered by the Fio E10K Olympus 2 DAC and the Objective 2 amp, plus some other headphones from Barodynamic and AKG just chilling. Then take a look at his PC inside the Corsair Carbide 400C case is an i7-6700K CPU with 16 gigs of Corsair RAM, got a Thermaltake Macho Rev B cooler, and a GTX 1080 Founders Edition graphics card. So altogether, Simon's hitting us with a really nice natural desk setup, even like the natural prints above the wall to go along with everything, and with some subtle RGB thrown in, really it adds to the whole gamer kind of look to it. Big fan of the double monitors stacked on top. All together, really great stuff. Now these we see every now and then where someone decides to take a massive TV as their display. I like them if they're properly done, like this one is, but there's probably gonna be some hate in the comments. Either way, I think it's pretty sick. So checking it out, it is a 43 inch TV from Sony. It's the X800D. And you know I'm not really offended by it. Depending on how far he sits back from it, it's not a bad size. And you can see behind the TV, he has something like the light pack or the dream screen where it has RGB lights going to whatever is on your display. So it kind of like portrays those colors behind there. And in this sense, I think it really helps tie the big size of the TV to the setup as a whole. 
and we can take a look at his gear his keyboard is the logitech g710 plus with the logitech g502 proteus spectrum mouse on a razor firefly mouse pad for audio on his desktop he has the bose companion 5 speakers with the sennheiser hd 598 headphones plus some extra controllers there like the xbox one elite controller and a ps4 controller and then as for his crazy rgb pc again here we have another case from corsair the corsair crystal 750 x rgb inside is an i7 7700k cpu with the corsair h100i v2 cooler on an asus maxbooks 9 hero motherboard 16 gigs of g skill trident z rgb ram and then Asus Strix 1080 Ti graphics card. Even got some Corsair RGB fans. Altogether, the RGB-ness of this is very strong. So on new here, going with that crazy big display for his primary monitor. And you know what? If it works out for him, that's all that matters in the end. Kick back, enjoy the free time, play some games, and just have fun. Now this one from the networking guy is definitely very unique. The way it's laid out is probably unlike anything we've had on the show before, but it stays very, very organized, natural. It's just really cool. Got the nice wooden desk, the, the kind of tan yellowish walls, the wooden shades there. The colors are blending very nicely. So for this one, he has two wall mounted displays. The first one there being a 25 inch ultra wide monitor from Samsung. Then next to that off to the left is a 40 inch 1080p smart TV from Sinotech. So he could be gaming on the ultra wide, have you know TV going up on the other one since it is on a, a, a wall bracket there. You can have it turned to him for some good viewing angles. I really like that. But for his primary setup, it all is just so organized and neat. Nothing unnecessary, just the bare essentials here. And taking a look for his peripherals, his uh, his keyboard is the Microsoft all-in-one wireless keyboard. And he has that paired with the Logitech G602 wireless mouse. And for audio, the Skullcandy Hesh 2 wireless headphones. And that's it. And as you saw in the wide shot, his PC is mounted up on the right side in a little shelf Great job with the cable management, keeping everything locked down. Inside the Fantex N2 Evolve ITX case in black is an i7-7700 CPU on a Gigabyte 270N Wi-Fi motherboard, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, some Thermaltake RGB fans, and an Asus Strix 1050 Ti graphics card. So for everything literally being mounted with the monitor, the TV, and the PC, Great job on cable management, and as a whole, like I said, just the bare essentials, nothing unnecessary, no crazy RGB lights by the desk, all nice and natural wooden. Really big fan of how simple this is. Hey guys, welcome to Frosted Tech. So, I wanna take you guys through my setup over here at Frosted Tech HQ. I recently, just before this video, I recently updated the entire setup. It used to be over on this wall, and I won a Setup Wars seal of approval i was the eighth recipient of that and now i've completely refreshed and redone everything basically the only thing that stayed was my pc and my console and my monitor or my tv so let's go ahead and go do a quick run through and see what you guys think so right over here we have three 1440p monitors set up in nvidia surround um, i don't really game too much on the pcs this is more for productivity purposes um, I recently painted the walls gray so when you're doing like photo shoots and stuff like that and vlogging you can actually just tap on your screen to focus on the wall and it'll actually auto white balance everything for you besides that uh, let's go down below and look at the PC so for my PC we've actually got the NZXT H630W uh, I have a custom painted Gigabyte Orus Extreme 1080 Ti running in here right now i7 6700k by the way guys the full specs of my setup will be in a full video on my channel i'm sure frank will have a video for you guys down below but this is my pc and uh we've actually got right over here let's go over to the console side so i can't really drill into my walls here i know you guys are noticing these wires properly it's just big eyesores but i can't really drill into my walls here because this is an exterior wall and it's really hard and I think Frank ran into the same problem with insulation in the walls. So I can't really drill into my walls. Uh, wire management actually goes through those tubes and I think that's similar to what Frank did. But anyways, we have a Xbox One S right over here, two terabyte edition, a PS4 Pro, and also a dual charging station for PS4 and Xbox One. I modified that myself and we've got an 11 foot desk. This desk is 11 feet long, 11 feet. And we've got a curved 
50 inch 4K Samsung TV right here and yes the Xbox One S does run at 4K on a 4K screen however you do have to have a HDMI 2.0 channel anyways so moving on we have the ATH M50X's that I usually use for gaming and also I bring them right over here when I'm doing my audio editing and also when I'm doing color correction on the screens that's why basically why I got 1440p so basically guys that's it for my setup if you want to see the full video make sure to head over to my channel and watch the full video of this setup it's roughly 12 or 13 minutes long where I go in depth of everything in this setup so thank you Frank for having me here and I'll throw it back to you this video is sponsored by Corsair and their Corsair 1 Pro 1080 Ti PC with an i7 7700K CPU, up to 32 gigabytes of their Corsair Vengeance RAM, and a water-cooled GTX 1080 Ti graphics card, this compact PC is not only 4K ready, but VR ready. This thing is crazy powerful, it's also very cool, and keeps quiet. And since it is so tiny, you can hook this up in your living room, you won't even notice it's there. If it's going to be on your desk, it's not going to be taking up much space. For more information, check the link in the description down below. Alright guys, I'll wrap it up for episode 101 of Room Tour Project. I hope you enjoyed, and shout out to our special guest, Frosted Tech. I will have his channel listed in the description down below, so you can check out if you were digging his gaming setup, as well as all the products and gear you saw. It'll be listed for you in the description down below as well. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.